AI versus data science, which uh, which subject are booming in the market in current scenario. I would like to know the detailed information, like how universities actually work, like. Hello everyone, this is back to back second video about uh, study program, artificial intelligence and uh, data science. So to the previous video, we have already discussed about uh, how he came to Germany, how he chose artificial intelligence program, the uh, exam procedure, the tuition fees. So there's a link I have already shared to this description box and this video we will discuss about university change procedure because right now uh, he is in another public university he will tell the name of this university for data science program so without wasting time let's start i know you told your friend you're not okay and tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way and guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until i look away but i've known you too long so Akash, you have already given me the detailed information about artificial intelligence program. Now you tell me that how you change your program from one university to another university and how long you studied to your previous university and then you have decided to come to Berlin University of Technology. Please. So uh, previously I studied in Degenroff Institute of Technology for one semester complete. I also given all the exams. Mm -hmm. Uh, so I studied for six months there. Mm -hmm. So after that, uh, I decided to apply other universities because I actually did not like that course and the campus. Mm -hmm. And there was not so much exposure. Mm -hmm. But you can also like that. Depends on what you are looking for. Mm -hmm. uh, so after that, I tried to apply very data science courses in other universities. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, after that. I got admission here in Berlin University of Technology. Mm -hmm. There is another name, Beut Hochschule Institute. Okay, so for, uh, just let me know that, please tell me that, what is the procedure? Like, uh, is there any certain time, like you have to complete it for six months to your previous university, then you can apply for another university. Is it like that? Actually, no, there is no rule like that. Actually, um, there, I, I also had an option not to attend any classes, do part-time jobs 20 hours a week. Mm -hmm. uh, you, can, you can apply for other courses, but there is no certain cutoff that you have to minimum attend this six months of course, then only you can change. Okay. It is not like that. It's not like that. And what is the criteria for taking admission to the Berlin University of Technology like education background, work experience, percentage, could you please explain? Sure, so Berlin University of Technology is very reputed in Berlin and all over Germany for research purpose and uh, the applied science department also is quite popular so it's quite competitive you have to for my data science course you have to get uh, 1.5 or 1.4 or better mm -hmm. uh, so this was the pretty much criteria and also everywhere in germany like that you have to have some relevant subjects credits studied in your bachelor mm -hmm. so for data science it, it was some credits of computer science mathematics mm -hmm. and uh, other subjects mm -hmm. uh, so in this university the process was through uni assist okay. so, and the deadline was 15th of July but mm -hmm. as you know in Germany you have to be first applicant in the application phase so the application starts I think from 15th of May or 1st of June maybe mm -hmm. so yeah I applied in the first week itself okay. through uni assist through uni assist and um, uh, before asking you the education fees I would like to know the little information like how uni assist actually work like you apply you uploaded your all the educational details backgrounds uh, educational details like certificates and everything and that uni assist will help you so that you can apply those to colleges or something how they help you that website to getting admission to the good reputed university so first first of all we have to understand what is uni assist and why is it in germany yeah so please. uni assist is a one to many platform mm -hmm. that acts as a central platform to uh, apply to all the partnered universities mm -hmm. uh, so you have to upload all the educational documents mm -hmm. only once mm -hmm. like there may be different document requirement for different universities mm -hmm. so you have to keep in mind but there will be some common 
documents for every university mm -hmm. what you have to do when you upload it you have to rename the file name of the document mm -hmm. with the university's name mm -hmm. and the course that you are applying for okay and another thing is uh, the extra documents that is for in specific university you have to upload uh, for the universities you are applying for on the uni assist okay. so it's only once you upload the documents and it will send this document whatever the universities you are applying for perfect so now i will ask you that about the tuition fees um, how much you have to pay for semester wise like uh, so it's pretty good like for six months we have to pay 300 uh, 330 euros but uh, with that you get a student card for six months and you can travel any type of public transport throughout berlin mm -hmm. so it's yeah oh that's really nice so you decided that you have to move i mean you have decided that you will move from ai to data science so so do you think that uh, till now if i compare like ai versus data science which uh, which subject are booming in the market in current scenario uh so just it's my personal yeah query. yeah it's a it's a good question so currently if you can see ai is booming but my previous course why did i change the previous course was not only ai but ai only for the smart sensors and actuators so it was kind of hardware uh, on software mm -hmm. kind of but in the current industry the common data science and the common uh, demand for the data science professionals is really high mm -hmm. so now generative ai is there but the common data science applications like machine learning and other stuffs is not going to be uh, diminished in far future mm -hmm. so yeah it's quite good for me okay so thank you so much for your time and so if you have any further query or further information if you need you can comment to my comment section if i don't know that question i will definitely ask to akash to give me the answer and i will get back to you or you can also uh, de uh, describe my linkedin link so oh that's that really nice it will be better so people yeah. can directly contact you yeah so definitely after taking permission from him i will mention his uh, linkedin uh, details so um, if I have any further query, you can directly talk to Akash then. So to the third video, we will discuss about the student job because Akash currently working as a data analyst, right? Yeah. Data analyst is student job, data analyst. So to the third video, we will discuss about this topic. So thank you so much who like and subscribe my channel. And those who didn't, please do that because your support motivates me to make more informative videos. Thank you so much. Be safe and take care.